Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Zephron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So, as you know, it's Ether Revolt week here on Instant Deck Tech Land, and today is Tuesday, which means it's still Type 2 or Standard Tuesday, and we have a super Ether Revolt influence list to look at today. So, actually, this deck is named after and built around one of the namesake mechanics of Ether Revolt, the Revolt mechanic, and this is Four Color Revolt, recently took Temurua Kuyui to to a undefeated finish in a Japanese tournament, so congrats to Tamarua on their finish with the deck. A quick reminder before we break it all down, if you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made into videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So Four Color Revolt, as it sounds, is built around a bunch of powerful Revolt cards. So Revolt is this mechanic that triggers if you had a permanent leave the battlefield this turn. So, for example, Green Wheel Liberator is one of the key cards in this deck. It's a 2-1 for 2 mana, doesn't sound exciting. However, if you can trigger Revolt, it enters the battlefield with 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters, making it a 4-3 for 2, which is just massive for standard. So the deck is playing actually 4 different Revolt cards, and then a bunch of enablers we'll talk about. So, we have the Green Wheel Liberator, the big Tarmogoyf beatdown 2-drop, then we have Hidden Herbalist, which is is essentially Burning Tree Emissary. It costs two mana, but if you have Revolt, it adds two mana back. So if you have two or three of these in your hand and can trigger Revolt on turn two, you can just play them all. Or you can go Hidden Herbalist, Hid Hidden Herbalist, Green Wheel Liberator, have eight power on the battlefield on turn two. So it gives you these super explosive, super aggressive starts. Uh, probably more so than any deck in Standard, honestly, if you have multiples in your hand. And then we have Renegade Rallier, which is a sweet value card. So 3-2 three, for 3, not way above the curve, but with Revolt, you get to return a permanent with converted mana cost 2 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield, so that means you can get back Green Wheel Liberator, you can get back a Hidden Herbalist that your opponent had killed with a Shock, for example, or you can get back a ton of Revolt Enablers, which we'll talk about in a second. The last Revolt card we have is essentially the Wasteland Strangler of Revolt cards. 3-2 three, for 3 mana, just like a Wasteland Strangler. If you have Revolt, gives a creature negative 3, negative 3 in Dolan, end of turn. It's essentially exactly Wasteland Strangler, except instead of processing a card, you need to have Revolt. So this is the foundation of the deck. These 16 Revolt cards. So the deck is built around taking advantage of these cards. They're very aggressive, they do some really powerful things, and the rest of the deck is built around enabling these cards and making sure you have Revolt. So our first Revolt enabler is Selfless Spirit, which is like the best Revolt Enabler, because it's a really good card. It protects your Green Wheel Liberator, it protects all your other creatures, plus, if you ever really need Revolt, you can just sacrifice it and get that Revolt trigger because it left the battlefield. And then we have a huge amount of other Revolt Enablers, Renegade Map, Seems kind of weird, but remember, this is a four-color deck, so the kind of the theme of the other Revolt Enablers is twofold. First, they help fix the mana to make sure you have all the four colors you need to cast your stuff. Second, a lot of them not only fix your mana, but can also draw you a card. Third, they're all super cheap. So Renegade Map enters tapped, so you play it on turn one. On turn two, you sack it, search out a land. It's kind of like an artifact Revolt Enabling in tune with Aether. No energy, but instead you trigger Revolt. You search a land out of your deck, and then you can trigger all your revolt cards. So you play a 4-3 Green Wheel Liberator, for example, or a bunch of Hidden Herbalists. Terrarion, same thing, except it is card neutral. It draws you a card instead of getting a land. Uh, and then Unbridled Growth is kind of a funny one. So you can play this. It lets your land tap for a mana of any color, which is nice. Plus, you can always sacrifice it to draw a card, so it's one mana, trigger revolt, cycles, draws you another card. And Evolving Wilds is a super easy one. Uh, lets you get any of the four basic lands you have in your deck, the four different colors of basics, plus it triggers Revolt. So this deck has a massive number of ways to trigger Revolt on turn two, which is how you get those crazy triple hidden herbalist into green wheel liberator, you lose the game type of starts. The rest of the deck, Essence Flux is another Revolt enabler. You blink one of your creatures, it left the battlefield, trigger Revolt, plus you can reuse your Renegade Rebels enter the battlefield ability, your Wasteland Strangler, negative three, negative three ability. Uh, Oath of Johnny Pump 
pumps everything up. Sylvan Advocate, just kind of a filler to drop an additional good play on two mana. Uh, also works well with Hidden Herbalist, a good way to finish a chain of a couple Hidden Herbalists, use the mana they make to play Sylvan Advocate. And then Tamiyo Field Researcher, just a big value Planeswalker in this deck. Mana base wise, a bunch of fast lands, and a bunch of basic lands, along with the two Evolving Wilds we talked about. Sideboard, you get some removal, Fatal Push, deals with a lot of stuff in the format, even better in this deck than most, because this deck is really good at triggering Revolt, it can trigger at instant speed, so this answers the copycat combo, and just a ton of creatures in this deck. Negate, to protect your stuff, stop your opponent from playing Planeswalkers, and so forth. More Oath of Ajani for pumping the team. Hope of Gurupur can prevent your opponent from killing your stuff with like a Radiant Flames or something, a Wrath effect, or kind of prevent them from comboing off, and then some Gideons and Nissa Vital Force to fight against more controlling slower decks, repeatable card advantage generating engines that sit out on the battlefield. And that's Four Color Revolt for Ether Revolt Standard, and that's our instant deck tech for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon.